Hello guys, I recently saw this tweet by Janelin explaining the differences between migrate those commands and I thought it's quite a good topic to shoot as a video for you to demonstrate because there's a lot of confusion sometimes I see on Laracast forum or elsewhere. What is the difference between fresh, refresh, reset and rollback? What does it actually do and how does it work? Let me demonstrate it to you quickly. So imagine a scenario, you have a default Laravel migrations and then you add something more on top. For example, to users, you add a string username and you migrate that. So if we run PHP Artisan migrate, it will migrate the last add username to users table, which I've just created. But then what if you change your mind and you want to roll back? You can choose what to roll back. First, if you do PHP Artisan migrate rollback like this, it would roll back the last batch of migrations. What is a batch? If we go to the database and we open the table migrations, each time you run PHP Artisan Migrate, it executes all the migrations that have not been executed previously. In my case, the batch one was executed previously before shooting this video when I installed the project. And then this one is a batch two. So now if I run PHP Artisan Migrate rollback, it will execute the down method of all the migrations in the last batch, which is batch number two. So I execute that, migrate rollback and rollbacking migrations and only one has been rolled back. And if we refresh the migrations table, this should disappear. Refresh. Yeah, so have only batch one. And now if I run migrate rollback again, it would roll back all the batch one migrations, which means basically all the rest of the database. Now let's rerun the migrate again. And there's another thing, migrate rollback also accepts the parameter of step. So you can provide dash dash step equals, for example, two, and it would roll back more than one batch. So two batches in my case. I will not run that because it would execute the whole database wipe. Instead, if you want to roll back everything, you don't even know how many steps there are, you do migrate reset. So reset would just go through all the down methods of all your migrations and would execute the drop. And for example, as an experiment, let's go to user stable migration, default Laravel, and let's remove drop off the table or comment it out and run migrate reset and see if the user's table still appears in the database. We do migrate reset. It rolls back all the migrations, including create users table, but that migration in the down method doesn't contain any more dropping off the table. Let's refresh the database. Migration should be empty. And the thing is that we still have users table. So migrate reset doesn't delete the tables. It just execute everything that you put in the down method. So if you don't put the deleting of the table or the column there, it will not be executed. Okay, so we've discussed rollback and reset. Now, fresh and refresh, there's a difference. So I have rerun the migrations again, which is batch one now. And by the way, did you know there's PHP Artisan migrate status? It shows the migration names that have been run and batch status, basically showing the migrations database table just in the terminal. So let's clear it up and let's do refresh. So PHP Artisan migrate, refresh what it would do, it would execute the reset. So everything in the down method, and then try to migrate again, executing the up method. So it would recreate the table for refresh to happen, then you have to be strict about deleting everything. So for example, if I do migrate refresh now, it executed the rollback of the migrations and then running the migration, which is great. But if I didn't have the drop off the table of users here, for example, in the migration, and then I execute the refresh, it will probably throw an error, which is exactly the case. While rolling back, it didn't delete the table, but now it tries to migrate and the table already exists. So that's why I'm not a big fan of refresh. Instead, if you want to re-migrate everything in the database, I would personally choose fresh. PHP Artisan migrate fresh just drops all the tables instead of executing the down method. So even if I don't have that down here, migrate fresh just wipes, drops all the tables and executes the migration. And that's why it would succeed. And speaking of down methods in migrations in general, on my blog, on my old blog, laravaldaily.com, back in 2017, so five years ago, 
I've posted an article that Taylor Otwell on one of the podcasts said that he doesn't use or he's not a fan of down methods at all. And quoting Taylor, you never roll back, you always go forward. Meaning, if you messed something up, you just create another migration which deletes that field. Because when rolling back, there's always a danger of losing customer data. For example, if you mix those commands of rollback, reset, refresh, and you accidentally wipe all the database. Of course, there are exceptions if you really know what you're doing and you want to roll back, for example, one latest migration, that's totally fine. So this is what Taylor says about that, but he himself stopped writing down methods at all. So personally, I adopted this approach as well. If Laravel generates the down migration for me, okay, fine, I'm leaving it. But me personally, I go only forward. And for new tables or new fields, I add only up method. And if I need to wipe the database, I just execute migrate fresh. And in very rare occasions, I use migrate rollback with a few steps if I know what I'm doing and I'm working locally. What is your experience with that? Have you ever messed up the database by executing wrong command or with wrong parameters or with incorrect something in the down method? Share your painful experience in the comments. And if you want to find out more about how I work with databases, one of my courses with a lot of practical examples is called How to Structure Databases in Laravel with Relationships, Queries, and Performance Stuff. So I recommend that course and I will link that in the description below. And see you guys in other videos.